Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on April 13th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we give a big roundup here of space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything that is affecting humanity. Starting out here looking at the sun, 304 angstroms, large plasma filaments lifting off of the southwestern limb there. And you can see they are connected to the other side of the southern region. So large plasma events that we've been witnessing over the past few weeks is definitely a ramp up in sun activity. Considering we haven't seen many sunspots, we have that one sunspot region here, but it's not going to develop much. But look at this plasma stretching. Wow, probably the height of 20 Earths amazing and then another one just in the last image there so we did have those two outgoing cmes other than that not much to talk about for space weather just amazing i'm so happy that sdo is back up and able to provide these images for us Looking here at another light, you can see the full coronasphere being affected. So everything that we're going through right now has been plotted with the solar cycles, documented throughout history, and is now being documented through this solar cycle. And when for the past four years, I've been talking about these increased events that are going to happen are all of a sudden happening. And look at all the volcanic events across the planet, the earthquake events. Ever since December 21st, when I talked about the planetary alignment and conjunction, once in a lifetime event, we've been witnessing extraordinary events across the planet. Our planet has literally changed its space overnight. Iceland now has seven pores spewing lava. Fissures opening up everywhere. Sufria still ejecting ash. So very calm for space weather, geomagnetivity, proton flux. Everything is low. Looking here at the Enlil spiral for space weather. Not much coming our way in that effect. But we do have a small Aurora forecast for tonight. A couple friends were asking about this, subscribers. So tonight, for most of northern Alberta, possibly Calgary, you could see some northern lights. Looking at a real-time solar wind, as we are still pretty calm, 356 kilometers per second. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 52. And we saw the small spike early in the morning. So a quality of a quality power of 10 and an amplitude power of 52. Looking here at the earthquakes last 24 hours, we we'll start out here most recent in Puerto Rico. As you're starting to see the seismicity come back to the region, even though Soufrier is Soufri, Soufrier is erupting. 
Looking at here, a 4.1 reported in Guatemala, 58 kilometer depth, as well a 4.7 here in Colombia, 10 kilometer depth, 4.7. Quiet through the South American plate, 4.6 here, South Shetland Islands. So movement on each side of South America, just waiting for a big one here, South America. And then overlooking North American plate, we did start the morning with that 3.9 in 10 sleep Wyoming at a 13 kilometer depth. And I did report about that. The recent seismicity is a bit concerning. You've seen the seismicity now continue westward here through Stanley, Idaho. As well, California seeing a 3.5 this morning, three kilometer depth, India, Indio, California. And right from Tom's Place, Mammoth Mountains, to the geysers. So yeah, definitely still pressure, North American plate. Quiet through the Aleutian Islands. One lonely 4.4 here, northern Japan. And then a couple sizable 5.0s in the Philippines today. 44 kilometer depth, and as well 42 kilometer depth, Ternate, Indonesia. 4.5 Timor Leste. And then the largest earthquake today, the 5.2 Loyalty Islands, or sorry, that's the last 24 hours, so reported yesterday. And the deepest earthquake is right here, 535 kilometer depth, 4.6 in Levuka, Fiji. New Zealand seeing a 286 kilometer depth, 4.3 as well. Quiet through Hawaii, no, no major earthquakes to talk about there. And then also a 5.1 was re recorded this morning, Ascension Islands, the Atlantic Ridge. And as well, this is the largest earthquake the last 24 hours, 5.4 reported in Greece. And as well, a 2.9 reported here, Albania. Now that 5.4 is just south of a very volcanic island. If you look at it on Google Earth, it definitely has blown up before. Looking at here, a couple shakers through Afghanistan as well, Germ, Afghanistan as well, a 4.3, 32 kilometer depth. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. Kind of going through a lull right now, and it's a bit worrisome. Looking at the last seven days, there's been many deep earthquakes. A lot of elevated rings across this map right now. Quiet through Africa and up into Europe, except for that large 5.4 today. Quiet through North American plate as well. A lot of energy being released in Iceland. Increased activity through Volcano Islands region here. You gotta wonder what is happening across the world for volcanoes. I've been reporting all the recent events. And yeah, we reported 52 a week and a half ago. And that's the most I reported in four years. And right now there are 41, if not 42, erupting. And this morning, Sufri ejected yet another huge ash cloud. That was early this morning as day broke. And look at that, that's probably the largest eruption yet. And that cloud is heading straight for Barbados yet again. So the, the equator is still just getting filled up right now with a lot of carbon, ash, and SO2 from Sufri. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that was affected by this large volcanic event. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Sangay in Ecuador, Sinabung, Indonesia, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Sufri in St. Vincent, Reventador in Ecuador, Pacaya, Guatemala, Fuego, Guatemala, Dokono, Indonesia, Era in Japan, Sabancaya in Peru, Popo in Mexico, Ebuco in Russia. So that's about 14 volcanoes just getting updated today. 
active eruptions, and we have 41 active and erupting around the world. No major weather systems affecting the states right now, but there are some extreme weather forecasts coming. As well, we do have a typhoon that is alive. Tropical Depression Surrogate will be forming into looks here like a Category 4 typhoon in the coming days. And as forecasted, I talked about yesterday, a super typhoon is forming and it is alive right now. Having a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by MeteorWorth and as well, Meteo Mike with Morning Dew starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. As you have very cool nights, cool mornings, and then once the sun comes, kind of heats things up for a little bit. But this weekend, we're going to see some real Pacific moisture. Going to warm up to at least 18 Looking at a large Pacific low there, who's going to influence that warm transition. Big low moving through the states here. It's going to bring some extreme weather as it heads towards the Gulf later in the week. And that could be an extreme weather event for parts of Florida. Cool temperatures from that strong high pressure ridge will stretch and pretty much destroy any kind of moisture that is developing across the states right now low pressure system moving through the state or Ontario and then eastward to the northeastern United States gonna bring some wild weather there big low pressure systems here spinning in the Atlantic and strong high pressure ridge over Europe it's gonna keep them at bay but it's going to lock down this low pressure system through central parts of Europe. Kind of gets stuck there and just going to spin around. Big low pressure and winter storm heading into parts of Russia and northern Japan this week. As well, heavy rains moving into parts of China and Hong Kong this week. They don't need that. As well, heavy rains, Thailand up to Myanmar and then here's a forecast for tropical cyclone Surige. Surige. super typhoon we can call it a super typhoon I'm sure it will be a category 5 super typhoon in the coming days overlooking Australia strong cool high pressure ridge moving in from the Arctic or the Antarctic <laughs> And yeah, not much weather to talk about, really. High pressure ridge stretching as far as uh, New Caledonia. Going to dry things right out. Same with Hawaii. Pretty dry through the region as well. But look at this strange weather pattern as we've got that large low getting ready to head into Alaska. It literally came from Russia and headed straight south. You can see it right there. And then is going to join forces with another Pacific low. And I think that could be a doozy of a low pressure system in the long range forecast. Just looking at the long lines of moisture joining these two storms in the West Pacific. Oh boy, things are heating up across the planet, aren't they? And as well, cooling down and clouding over. <laughs> overlooking South America no major weather systems affecting you overlooking Africa again here no major weather systems except for some really cool air that is going to be moving through southern Africa this week and no major weather systems for East Indies West Indies going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere and our very vigorous low pressure systems that are racing around joining to get forces stay aware and prepared my friends and family from around the world much love to y'all stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye bye now if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world <laughs>